guys welcome back this is Arjuna here I hope you all are doing good so today I have very interesting project to share with you all so for this project I have tried to create outer space kind of a look so first here I draw a circle with the help of 3d you can take any round object to create a guideline so it's all up to you so once that done I have added ice and snow texture paste so all this kind of a texture paste gonna look absolutely amazing in this kind of a project so first I have took a ground texture paste that is ice and snow and I have a um, added this paste using my palette knife and i try to kept it within the circle that i have created so uh, yeah that that way and as you can see i am also patting my palette knife little bit to create that you know rough texture in this uh, on this canvas uh, next here to add that more interesting texture I have used another ground texture paste called white sand and I applied it here and there as you can see in this video. Uh, next to get crackle effect on my project I have used a mix crackle texture paste and I have applied it using palette knife on the rest of the canvas as uh, uh, you can see here I have applied very thin layer because I don't wanted a thick uh, cracks to be appear on this canvas so I have added very thin layer of this crackle texture paste I felt that uh, deco stones are absolutely perfect to add that uh, you know kind of cosmic particles so I mixed different sizes of deco stones with Mod Podge and added it on the canvas randomly as you can see here so that you know uh, I have mixed deco stones with Mod Podge first because I wanted that clustery look on my canvas so yeah uh, this is what I have done here. So once I'm done uh, adding this deco stone, I wanted this deco stone to be, you know, merged with the background. So that's why I have added another ground texture paste. So the texture paste which I have used here is called desert sand. I have added it on the uh, circle that I have created and then on the background as well. And this painting is all about texture so and emix have amazing range of texture paste as well so here i have added another texture paste called glass beads texture gel medium this texture paste dries clear so whenever you color it it looks absolutely amazing so yeah here you can see with the help of brush i have added this texture gel medium uh, here and there so this texture gel medium have um, glass beads into it it they are very minute and they look absolutely absolutely amazing as well uh, next uh, I I don't know I wanted to make this project this circle to look more 3d so I have uh, added normal texture paste that emix have so yeah uh, I have kind of experimented uh, all the texture paste in this project and I just love the final effect so yeah uh, so whenever you have this kind of a product don't afraid to use them just try to explore and you know you might end up uh, having absolutely you know masterpiece by yourself And now here that I have uh, convinced with the, you know all the texture and whatever I have created on this canvas uh, I am just happy with that so I next I have cover entire canvas using black gesso. Amix have three uh, kind of gessos black white and clear so you can use according to your choice. So 
so yeah next here to color my project i have used uh mx iridescent metallic paints so this paint uh is kind of a two-tone so on white it will uh react differently and on black it will react differently so yeah i will give all the product links in the description box below so just in case if you want to try you can uh try them by yourself so yeah next uh what i have done i have choose two shades of iridescent metallic uh metallic paints and i use a flat brush to apply this metallic paint on the canvas To add highlights on my project here I have used metallic paint and the shade which I have used is called snow pearl so this has beautiful you know shimmer into it uh, so yeah I have applied this paint using dry brush technique and I also added some white gesso splatters uh, on the rest of the canvas as well to add that you know shadow uh, around this circle I have used a uh, black gesso I have just you know uh, dilute the black gesso with water and I have added it around this circle to create that shadow effect And next year I have also added some metallic paint using my finger here and there as you can see here. So yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this process. I will be back with another project soon. Till then bye bye take care and happy creating.